Going into the final race of the season, Craig, there was one point between you and James fighting it out for third place in the championship, and uh, as it transpired, you were fighting it out for third place in the race. Of course, one feature here at Hampton is that you'd normally be on the break slightly before you go over the start-finish line, but um, in that one, that wasn't really an option, was it? Not if I wanted to get third, third in the race and third in the national zone. Yeah, she was all on, really. I didn't think I had a show. Well, the first race was pretty miserable, but like, I've had a couple of good, good crashes this weekend and hurt myself a bit in the first race. I just got nowhere and didn't feel good, but it was more to do with the oil and sand that was on the track. I just couldn't get my head around that. And, and I watched the 600 race, and those guys were going damn fast. So I thought, well, the track's got to be pretty good. Um, and, yeah, Jimmy got an awesome start, and he was sort of going. And I was like, not even get a very good start as usual. Once I got into my groove, I could see that he was sort of coming back from there. I just thought, well, come this far, give myself a hiding this weekend. It's like I can't just give up. You know, it's 20 laps and it's all over. So I just put my head down and went hard as a bit for the whole thing. And so I knew James was really sitting behind me. I think he was waiting for me to, to fade, basically. You know, we're pretty good mates and he, he knows what my physical condition is. But I also know he's been struggling with um, cramps and stuff in his hands and he's been racing racing both classes and that's just pretty hard so we're probably both struggling in different parts and I keep looking over my shoulder coming out of the bottom corner and he was behind me all the time and I thought he's just sitting and waiting and sure enough got the white flag and he passed me into turn two but I was running a, a deliberate line into the hairpin at turn four the whole race I was just going really wide and tipping in and he just went in real tight and I just managed to pass him coming out again but sort of hoping that the that could be the case and it worked out. And yeah, then going to the finish line, the issue was just all on. He was right behind me and there's a couple of lap marks in front of us. And I'm like, man, where are we going to go? There's just nowhere to go. I couldn't stop. So both James and I ran off and crashed in the sand after the chicken flag. So uh, we're very happy with how the season's panned out. It's good, good for me. And first time I've ever finished on the podium overall at the Nationals on a Super Bowl. Still haven't won a race yet, but we're trying. Um, yeah, Honda worked great, so and really swift. We're hanging in there for 20 laps, so very good and very happy. So hopefully 2011 will get that elusive first win, and uh, so. yeah, I'm, I'm sure once you get that monkey off your back, uh, others will follow. Yeah, it was sort of the same in 600. I rode around for a long time and didn't win anything, and then all of a sudden I won a race, and then I won a lot of races in the same season, and then won a championship as well, and you just, like I say, you get the monkey off your back, and um, just get winning gives you confidence, and what racing's all about, having confidence, so look, I've got confidence, but you know, you're racing guys like Stradley and Bugs, and they're sort of basically world-class riders, and they've got a lot of experience, especially Andrew, who's probably been racing longer than Robbie is, but he's in the hard scene in Aussie, so he's, he's damn good too, so it's still got a lot to learn, but um, hopefully we get the opportunity to continue learning, would be good. Great stuff. Oh, well, looking forward to it. Thanks very much, Craig. Thank you.